What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be having fun with what I believe to be the best automation tool that really it's it's kind of its purpose is almost untapped in a way. Um, Bots and Apps came out with this product a few weeks ago. I've seen it before. I just never really paid attention to it. It was called uh, Click Assist or it is called Click Assist. Uh, it's existed for over a month, I could probably say that. I don't know the exact date, like I said. I didn't hop on it right away. Um, but I got it last night, and I was playing around with the things that I could do. And basically what this tool is, is like a general purpose automation tool, if that makes sense. Um, it's also the first tool that you could actually name your price to buy it, right? which is pretty um, <clears throat> new to me. I have never seen something like this where you could name a quote-unquote fair price for what you believe the tool is. Uh, I'm sure there's people going to take advantage of this and try to get it for as low as possible. Um, but with that being said, uh, I paid $19.99, which is what they're asking. But um, the the tool is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm just going to share with you guys what I've discovered with it so far and uh, the things that you could do. So I've no Hey guys, this is a quick side note. If you're watching the video right now, uh, the tool that I'm using, it's kind of like one of my first few times using the tool. I can't really say I'm an expert by any means using this. I'm actually not even an amateur. I'm super, super beginner, uh, super green to it. Uh, but something that I did want to say is as I start learning different skills with the tool and different, you know, new doors that I can open using the tool, I'll share with you guys kind of the algorithms as to how I set them up. All right. So uh, back to the video. Noticed, for example, I uploaded this picture to um, to Redbubble, which is like a picture of like a, an arcane screenshot, and it's it's a screenshot of my screen, if that makes sense. And uh, you guys could see it's much more horizontal than it is vertical. It's like 1920 by 1080, and so obviously by default things are not going to be automatically enabled. Let's just say I wanted to enable all of them. Well, I could whip out the click assist tool. And I can actually click on the tools that I want it to click for me. So let me just explain what I mean. So I'll click on set target elements. And once again, I'm an amateur with this. But I can click on this. I can click enable. And now the element is used, right? So let's just say that's the only element I want. And I want every, let's just say, second for it to be clicked. Or not even second. Let's just go half a second, right? I can go ahead and hit start. And it will literally start executing all those clicks for me. So I don't have to actually click enable at all. You could see here it's enabling literally every single one of these for me. Now, for me, obviously it's not a big deal to just go in and enable all of them. It's not that serious. But I think it is pretty cool and pretty interesting that something like this even exists. And I ask myself, what more can you do with a tool like this? Right? What other things can you do? And so I actually took the time to think about this with Instagram. So, I, I mean, we could let this play out uh, longer while I speak, but with Instagram is an idea as well, right? So with Instagram, if you guys think about it, um, you have certain tools like the follow tool. You can use, instead of paying a subscription for all these different tools, you could use a tool like this and have different aspects to it. And once again, I'm not sitting here and guaranteeing that this is uh, like going to work for every single website, but I'm saying that this is pretty cool for certain things that you could do, certain things you can automate. Like you guys could see here, I'm sitting here talking to you, and I never have to click on anything, I never have to do anything, and it's literally enabling every design for me. Pretty interesting, right? So there's there's going to be a lot of things that you could do with this tool. So now that it's finished executing everything that I want, I'm just going to click OK here. And I'm just going to click Clear All, and it did its job, right? I'm going to exit the Element Setter or Element Setting. I'm going to hit OK here, Exit Element Setting, Refresh. Uh, actually, we don't even have to refresh it. We'll just leave it the way it is um, because essentially we already made use of it what we want. Let's actually go here to Instagram now. Like imagine if there's this person and I want to follow his following, right? I want to interact with his following. I'll open up his 600 followers. I'll open up my Click Assist tool and I can set my target element. So I'm going to go ahead and set the target element as this follow button, right? And then I'm going to go back to the tool and I'm just going to uh, go ahead and click start. But 
let's just say I want a six second gap in between each. I'll just hit start. And maybe I didn't maybe I didn't set it up right, but hold on. Let me go ahead and like I said, I'm a little bit uh, rusty with this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hit stop and let me reset that. So exit element setter. Let me clear this, clear this, clear this. Exit element setter. Uh, clicking elements stopped. Okay. And let me just refresh the page. How about that? And you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about uh, because there's different with the way the code is set up on the website, there's different things that you can click on, but I'm going to set target elements and I'm going to make it set, click specifically the follow, like the word follow, right? I'll set that and then I'll set this and then I'll hit start. So, okay, let's see. Element selector saved. So clicking elements, there we go. So it's actually doing it. So you can see here, it's literally at finding every single word where it says, uh, the, the follow button and it's clicking it for me. You guys could literally see on the screen as we speak It is doing this for me. There's a lot of things that you could use this feature for There's a lot of things that you could use this tool for right. There's a lot of things that could go on um, It's really really interesting to me a tool like this what the future could be with this, right? This is almost like a like a machine doing some really really cool stuff for you uh, like I said this kind of saves people money. You could do this even with Twitter. Notice how it's even leaving a gap between each person who followed. Pretty interesting. Um, and now it's like doing a random kind of thing. But but the, the way it works is it's finding the elements based on what you select. And based on what you select, it's going to find those specific elements through the code. So let me go ahead and hit just stop here because I think it followed enough people. And um, let me go ahead and clear all and click OK and then exit the element setter and then we're so like we could try another example here on Instagram if I just go on Instagram type in hashtag money for example I can go to hashtag Instagram and uh, let me try to create like a like tool out of it so this is I'm doing this live for the first time so I'm not even sure how this is gonna work but um, we're gonna open this right and I'm gonna open the tool now I'm going to clear all, and I'm going to hit set target elements. Uh, now you're setting the target element. Just simply hover over and click. Okay. So let's say I want this to be clicked, and I want this to be clicked to focus on the next one. Right? So if I'm clicking on that, if you see here, the first element was the like. Right? And so I want that to happen, let's just say, every five seconds. And then I want the next image to be clicked every six seconds so that means one second after it'll click the next one so if I just hit start and let's see what happens we, we have no idea but let's just let's just see that it happens okay should be it's gonna click one of them eventually so let's see here okay it just went to the next photo now every five seconds that means something should be liked there we go so just hit the like button Now let's click the next image. I believe. Searching for elements. There you go. See, see so there you go. So here's an example of, of, a, of a little algorithm that I just created where it will randomly click likes and 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 then it will focus on the next page every single time uh by random so so once again you can see here i'm a total amateur at this but um it, it, it will it depends how you set it up i'm not saying that i'm an expert i'm not saying any of that but clearly it does work uh pretty good so just different different things going on but i figured i'd just even put this video out because it is kind of uh interesting there's obviously easier auto automation setups to, to work on. Um, so if I just, let's just click here and hit clear all, exit element setter. Um, and if I just, let's try liking from the feed. So let's do that. Or forget liking from the feed. Let's actually pull up a post. Okay, let's pull up a post. And let's find a post like, let's go to LeBron James. And let's find an account that... Let's let's find a post and like all the people that commented on that post, right? So like right here. So 
here there's like what a few comments I don't know so let's test this let's hit set target element let's hit OK and let's hit the favorite button and then it says element selector saved and then let's hit start so every three and a half seconds effectively there should be some sort of like unless I because I literally just clicked on something so um, it says element selector saved okay so there we go so clicks there you go you guys could see it's actively and this was a random one that I just created now so it's liking all the the people who commented right and so that's gonna give them uh, like notifications saying hey like this person liked your comment or whatever right and and there's certain things that I, I really don't know yet like why is it skipping like why did it skip one or something like that or you know whatever the case may be but you could see here it's literally clicked everything so everything that is available to it at that moment you know so if I just let's go ahead and um, let's uh, exit the element setter okay so something that I realized right now guys is I should probably click exit element setter after each time I set the elements so I'll, I'll try this one more time here just so we don't you know waste too much time but here's there's an example of 21 comments right so I can go here to the element tool clear all I'm just gonna clear all and I'm gonna set the element so this is the element that I want set so I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna hit exit element setter so now I'm not selecting any more elements and then I'll set a you know the, the timer or whatever then I'll just hit start okay so at this point it should there we go so now it's favoriting each and every one okay and like I said I, I, I'm an amateur don't know what I'm doing here so just learning but uh, playing around with the tool seeing what I could do um, it's very useful you can see there's different things that you can click different things that you can automate different things that you could do uh, I did it here with the Instagram uh, excuse me the red bubble and you can see here I'm, I'm on a different page right now and it's going to be interacting with the stuff on the other tab so it's literally like almost like a virtual assistant in a way that could do you know other stuff so you can see here it's doing its thing and it's doing a good job at it if I just click OK here and just pause this or it clicking OK won't make a difference like I'm just clicking OK because it's notifying me but if I just stop this because we need it to be stopped right now if I just click stop you can see here there's a lot of different things that you could do with this it just takes some creativity some ingenuity um, and uh, yeah I mean it just depends on what site you, you work it on right like Instagram is easier to use this than like some other sites but you can see how it works so uh, that's interesting to me hopefully it's interesting to you guys too I figured I'd put this video out there just a little creative little tool that that I find kinda interesting almost like an experimental tool in a way and uh, yeah that's all I got to say for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.